going world? Welcome back to Nomadius, the name I chose is Thaddeus. I'm back, if you recognize this airport. I'm back in Costa Rica today. It's been almost four months since I landed here for the first time in this life. I got my tour guide waiting for me outside. I'm just chilling, I came pretty early today. I'm here for an amazing journey. It's a very entrepreneurial type journey. I gotta go through pass my bag through this last security check and let's go check out the guy that's waiting for me. Lo siento Felipe. Felipe, si? Si. Soy Tadeo. Ah, hola. Si. Yo soy Oscar. It's nice to meet you. Airtime time milestones, guys. Let's go. Voy a llamar a Felipe para que lo bien Igual él lo espera en el hotel <laughs> and my room is ready. I'm out here at the, I can't even tell you the name of it. I think it's the Paseo Las Damas Sleep Inn here in San Jose. I'm gonna drop the name right here. Let's go check out this room. And I'm gonna give you a tour of this amazing hotel. It's a four star hotel here in San Jose. I've only stayed in, I say it's two star hotel uh, my whole time in Costa Rica. Other times I've been at field stations. So let's see what this hotel's got in store. All right, y'all, let's start from the beginning. Okay, okay, okay. Look at this room. We got the big mirror over here. Got my luggage, got the TV. Look at these sheets. I love it, I love it. You know, my favorite color is green. Got the artwork over here. Look at that bed frame. That's nice, that's nice. You know, we got the fridge, the safe, you know. Got the nice view of the mountains, the hillside. Got downtown San Jose over here. It's a really nice area. I stayed not too far from here before. Yeah, I mean, this is where I'm resting. I got a new roommate coming in over there. This is nice, this is nice, this is nice. I can get used to this. So let's check out the bathroom. Well, let's check what's in here first. Like I'm, I'm kind of doing a first tour, okay. You know, keeping it simple. Okay, I like it, I like it. I like the little addition right here, you know. Let's see. Oh. Oh, big old mirror. Okay, I like how the light comes up from over there. Doesn't do too much to your face. Okay, okay, okay. I like how they folded the towels. The bathroom, the shower right here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that is a nice hotel. We're staying in multiple different places this trip. So we'll see what the rest of this trip's got in store. But for a first place to stay, this is fire. I had the flight delay for two hours just to get here. I'm lucky that I got here safely, thanks to God. And now it's time to rest, so. Oh. All 
All right, so got a good nap in. I'm feeling refreshed to the journey. Now it's time for lunch. Gotta take myself out. Going to Avenida Central. You've seen me there before in my how to finish college video. I'm feeling some calzone or pizza. I'm not too sure. I'm not too accustomed to the Costa Rican food yet. It gives me a little bit of time. I'm gonna slowly transition in. I'm slowly transitioning. So in the meantime, I'm gonna show you a tour of this hotel. Let's go. Before we get too deep into the journey, remember to like the video right now, subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 1K soon to even higher levels, and make sure to share this with your family and friends. Once again, I'm finishing off college by studying abroad here in Costa Rica. So I know you're enjoying the journey and make sure to show the love. All right, let's get to it. Never forget your key. Or should I say, always remember to bring your key. This is the hotel lobby, at least on the third floor. Let's take this elevator down. Ooh, nice arrow. Okay. Lobby. See, I'm just a little cozy today because it's raining right now in Costa Rica compared to the last time I was here. You see me in my shorts, you see me in my shirt, you see me in my glasses on, but yeah. Okay. So this is where I will be eating breakfast. All right, nice, nice. I'm pretty sure I know exactly where this is at. Been here. This is the main lobby. Nice hotel. The bathroom is nice. And yeah, let's go off the journey. Pura vida. Now on the way to Avenida Central. Beautiful day. So I'm here for a eco entrepreneurship program. Here. Hold on. Oh, it's my, nope, not my turn. Hold on. All right. I'm here for an eco entrepreneurship program hosted by UC Santa Cruz. This is the first program ever held and I was the first student to show up. What can I say? <laughs> so this program is focused on immersing us into Immersing us into the local entrepreneur, entrepreneurial community, focusing on ecotourism and conservation. We'll be staying at some of the nicest eco hotels here in Costa Rica to get an understanding of how we can combine. Let's cross here. Yeah, let's cross here. Ooh, you know, not even sure where I'm going. Hold on. All right, guys, so, you know, I was trying to explain something to you guys real quick, but to be honest, I'm a little lost in this area. Hopefully you can hear me through this wind but I'm enjoying the ride to my destination. So I'm following where the, most of the people are going down this road. 
pretty lively instead of taking a route that's a little more empty trusting the intuition on that one so my time here this this trip i'll be here for a month and we'll be going to five major destinations starting here in san jose i said it once and i'll say it again if you're in university you're in college or you're not in university yet and you plan to you need to study abroad you will make an impact on the place that you go to as well as it making an impact on you seems like i just ended up at some kind of park let's see what this is Costa Rica is full of so much greenery. You can never get enough of it. Especially during a rainy season like this. Now during their summer, well our summer in California is when it rains here like it does in Ethiopia. And because it rains so much in Costa Rica, a lot of the locals tell me that when I asked them about summer, I said, we don't go by summer or winter. You have to tell me the months. So it's interesting to have a different perspective on seasons and how we see the world and how we interact with our environments. So one thing that I have learned about traveling alone is that safety is really important. As you've seen last time when I was traveling to Istanbul, Turkey, so I had a pretty bad accident. So, had some pretty shaking memories of traveling alone. And although I'm traveling with a program right now, I'm walking through Avenida Central solo. And I'm just having to be really aware about my surroundings. You know, I'm not using my gimbal anymore because it's better the less attention that I call to myself in these settings. You know, already just standing out as who I am, I don't need any more attention even though I have pure intentions. And it's not to say that this is necessarily a dangerous place. There's actually a lot of police everywhere. But, you know, coming from Los Angeles, I know my, I can, I'm in tune with my environment to know where it's safe and where it's not. And just to just play it safe. Because you have to always evaluate whether the risk is worth the reward. And right now, the risk can be sort of high for a sort of low reward when rather I can just hold my phone with my hand. But while I'm walking through, the feeling that I'm getting, it just, it feels like I'm in my zone. This is who, sorry guys, got cut off there. Paradise, my homie, the one who's filmed a couple of my videos and has volunteered to record this trip. Shout out to Dice on the camera. He's here with me and she came in last night and stay at another hotel and we're about to meet up pretty soon back at the hotel we're on the same floor as i was saying i'm in my zone right now this is who nomadius is i'm someone who loves to travel it's what i do i learn from my environment i learn from the people i'm around i love the way people look at me whether it's out of fear or whether it's out of curiosity or whether it's out of learning so just being aware of my environments and yeah, I'm back, Costa Rica, I'm back. Pura vida. Almost gave up hope. But I found my destination. You know how many times I've walked past this place and I've wanted to try it? Look at the pizza in the window. Buenas, buenas. So, a long and awaited the suspense is killing me right now. I'm trying to say it's got me feeling alive. I've passed by this place way too many times to not try it. Last time I was here, I was really here for the Costa Rican food, so I kind of tried to stay away from eating, you know, pizza and calzone, but it's made by the Costa Ricans, so I want to see what spin they put on it. And honestly, I haven't had a calzone since like middle school or elementary. This 
water was un mil, which is like a thousand uh, colones. Uh, un mil, pretty much if you convert it, is around like two dollars, a couple cents. I have to say for a water this big, it's pretty worth it. Already the cheese calzone, just one because I want to enjoy it without rushing to another food. Although I know it won't fill me up. I'm gonna taste this, see how it goes, and then I'm gonna keep ordering more. But I'm excited, there was only 2,000 meals, which is about, mas o menos, four dollars. You know, a little, maybe a little more than that, but around almost, almost five dollars. But, let's eat, as we say in Ethiopia. All right, y'all. Got this here. It's looking extremely fresh. Just came straight out the oven. Okay. A little watery, but you know, never judge a book by its cover. Do you, do you actually read it? All right. Let's go for that first bite. You know, tomato sauce is a little cold. Yeah, it's a bit cold. I like the bread. Well, the outside is definitely harder than the inside. It's good. Nothing crazy, but definitely satiating. I think I'm gonna order something else. Just finished my lunch here at Celestial Pan and Pizza. Had the pizza as well. Wasn't too impressed. You know, a little unfortunate because it smelled so good from outside. The pizza was a little watery. Well, well. The sauce was watery, the cheese did it just like kind of really cheesy and the dough itself was like really thin and flimsy so it didn't really, it didn't really hold up. But it's okay, you know, I'll have clarity now and I'm full so I'm thankful to be able to have food and have the, the funds and resources to pay for, you know, a meal. Uh, sorry I couldn't record the pizza because like, I just got caught in conversation with my people back in the states and recording a couple other videos but if you're interested in seeing how the pizza and the calzone went make sure to check me out on tiktok as well same thing nomadius on all platforms We're building our brand i'm headed back to the hotel now it's a beautiful walk beautiful breeze and to uh, my first day back in Costa Rica. Very blessed, very lovely, very enjoyable. You know, get to, get to practice my Spanish again and I get to remember how nice the people are here. I love this place. Shout out to you Costa Rica and you, all the Costa Ricans all over the world. I love you. Made it back to the hotel. Oh. Not even sure if it's the first one I just showed you guys. Yeah, this is, looks like something I'd find in the States, but I got a little Costa Rican twist to it. I like it. So this is how starting off day one, or I guess ending off. <sighs> Made it to my floor just now. Oops. What a beautiful walk today. And I think this is going to be the end of day one i'm gonna go back into the room get to some work get well rested prepare for tomorrow and check out the itinerary yeah hope you're enjoying the journey because i know i am all right y'all see you tomorrow
see tomorrow. <laughs> What is up? Deals? Paradise Dice on camera, you know what I'm saying? Let us be yes, out here in Costa Rica. Day two, day two, day two, day two. We got the good vibes going. We got the good vibes going. Day two, we out here. I found the gym. I found it. And I got back into a routine. As you can see, I'm working hard right now. Been here a couple days. Small little gym. It's got a, you know, it's got everything you need. Keep it pretty simple. And look at the view. Got the city right here next to me. I'm enjoying my stay here at Paseo Las Damas. Sleep in San Jose. Getting back into a good routine. Taking care of my health and just practicing what I preach. Self-care. You got to take care of yourself before you try to take care of the world. Got to take care of yourself before you try to take care of your family. Got to take care of yourself before you try and take care of your priorities. Because what's your number one priority in life? What's the number one rule in life? Self-preservation. So however you get to it, in the highest way, get to it right now. Matter of fact, pause this video right now and go do your self-care and then come back and then see what the rest of the journey's got in store. I'm gonna finish off this stretch, get some good rest, and on to the next day here in San Jose.